guys, Shay McGann, and I just left Ulta Beauty and found Barbie makeup by Pure. I don't have anything by Pure, so I, I thought, hey, why not? I'll give this a try. It looks pretty cute. So I have the eyeshadow palette, all three different lipstick shades, and then the highlighting powder. So where to start? Where to start? I guess we'll start at the end. Just grab this up. It does look like it's gonna be super cute. I haven't even gotten into these yet because of course at Ulta right now, they're not putting out any kind of samples. So uh, we're gonna see these for the first time together if I can figure out how to get it open. I hate when I have to tear up the box to open stuff. Ugh, no, I'm a package lover, please. Okay. Now, just going off a of very first impression, like I said, I don't have anything else from Pure unless it came in like an Ipsy box or something. Like I've never bought Pure stuff. Okay, it's called Confident Glow with Pink Taffy and Bubbly Colors. But two things that are striking me right away, and again, as somebody who has never bought Pure stuff before, this may impact how I feel about the brand moving forward. But if you can see in the light, it is very, very scratched up on the metal plate right here. And then, of course, the compact itself... Like this feels like it's glued on off center and I feel like this should be some kind of Barbie design. I don't know why it's not for a Barbie collab, but we'll open it up. I do like that it has a mirror. ColourPop is mirror stingy. And then that is actually pretty cute. We have the uh, Barbie silhouette and then it says pure in here and I'm just gonna run my finger really softly. Oh my goodness. Okay, maybe this is gonna win me right back over. Oh, that does seem like a nice highlighter. Um, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but I can definitely see the champagne versus the rosy color. So, ooh, that has got a nice shimmer to it. And that is gorgeous. But again, I'm taking this cover off of the mirror and the mirror is all scratched up in here like I don't know what happened but I bought this new and I haven't even opened it and there's like a thousand little scratches on the mirror like that that's really frustrating for me I don't like buying new stuff and it's already messed up but moving on to the lipsticks Let's see if I can catch it in the light yeah it's a little bit hard to see with the lighting I have but it, it is interesting that all three lipsticks come in different packaging. This one is Innovator. And again, it's it's not that I dislike this design here, but why isn't it more Barbie? Why does it just say pure times Barbie? Like, I'm already a grown behind woman. Okay, at least there's a Barbie logo on the front, I guess. But um yeah, I'm already an adult woman buying something that's a Barbie collab, so you don't need to worry about whether or not I want to have this really branded with Barbie stuff. Um, this is like a hair roller. I can't... How do you open this? Okay. So you pop this button down. And for the cost of this, which I think these were $18 a piece, this feels really small, honestly. And then we have the Barbie silhouette on the tip of the lipstick and it says pure times Barbie in the middle of it. I hope the light is catching this. For some reason, this makeup seems to just be absorbing all the light I'm throwing at it. But let's give this a color test. Ooh, it is kind of chunky. Like it's it's a little blocky. It doesn't go on very smooth. I know I've gotten spoiled with ColourPop. I mean, it is kind of neat how that you push the button and it comes out, but not knowing that that's how you're supposed to get it out, that was really confusing. All right, let's go with CEO next, which is a deeper red. And the packaging here is again, it's similar enough you can tell they're related, but even in the store, I had to stare at it for a minute going like, wait, are these three different shades of the same type of lipstick? And okay, at the bottom, it does say that this is CEO, so I can tell the colors apart that way, but otherwise there's no way to differentiate between these two different, like, I don't know which color's which just looking at it. You know, in three or four months, I'm not gonna be looking in my lipstick box going, oh yeah, CEO was the dark red and Innovate was the more like pinkish red. And you know, I'm not gonna remember that. So I don't know why there's not a color swatch or some other way to differentiate between these to kind of help me out. And this is a super dark red. Again, it has the, if it will show, the pure times Barbie and then the Barbie silhouette. 
that one goes on a lot better. That one goes on a lot creamier. So um, maybe it was just, I don't know, maybe it's the pigment in that one. Maybe I got a bad lipstick design for the Innovator. I, I'm not sure. But the CEO definitely goes on a lot smoother. The other one was not sandpapery, but it was not wanting to apply to my skin, which is not the kind of thing you want in makeup. And for this last iconic lips, it is called Trailblazer. And again, it looks identical, except it says Trailblazer at the bottom. I don't know why they would do this. Like they took the time to design all of these boxes extremely differently. And then all of the lipsticks are identical. That just, I don't know, that feels kind of cheap and lazy to me. And now here is a real neutral kind of almost brownish pink. Again, Barbie silhouette, pure times Barbie. Let's pray that this one is also... Okay, that one's pretty creamy too. So that one's that one's not too bad. Let me pull Innovator out one more time. Maybe I just got a really bad swipe, but it was not... I mean, when I use it on the very tip, it's better, but when I just tried to swipe it like I would put it on my lips, it was it was horrible. So maybe that was just a bad swipe and user error. But again, with how different the boxes are, I am still really disappointed that all of the actual lipstick tubes are identical. As far as I know, this pattern that they're using isn't even related to Barbie, so I, I, I don't understand. I don't get why they're so fixated on using this little zigzaggy Christmassy pattern. But here is our eyeshadow palette. Um, I, I was iffy about getting this, but I thought, well, I've had so much trouble getting a hold of other makeup sets, so if I decide I want it later, I probably won't be able to get it. So I might as well grab it now. But it looks like we have a lot of options, but again, can, can you guys see that? Like how scratched up it is on the plate here? Like there's no excuse for that. This is fresh out of the box. And it looks like it's been taken in and out of a box like 7,000 times. Like take care of your products, treat them right. These are not, like you're not selling these for some rinky dink price. I could understand if it was some Walmart drugstore thing. Okay, well it has a mirror, so snaps for that. I'm trying to see, it looks like there's a film on the mirror to keep it from getting scratched, but I, I'm not, there's no way to grab at it if there is. And again, the mirror is all scratched up and if... I mean, it, it really looks like this one has a guard on it, but there's, there's nowhere where it's peeling off on the side like it should, so I don't understand. I'm also kind of disappointed, as you can see for yourself, there's nothing on here that's Barbie branded except for the script. And even when you... Ah, come on, I just had you open. I mean, I, I love having the mirror, don't get me wrong. I do appreciate having a mirror with my eyeshadow, but I mean, even a little Barbie logo here or something. And again, it's all scratched up in here. I just, I don't understand it, but I've, like I've said, I don't have any pure stuff that I can recall. So let's do some color swatch tests. All right, let's start light to darkest. It is pretty soft, but it is not giving me as much as a normal, uh, like a color pop or something like that would when I dip my finger in. And try this kind of orange. It would be nice if they had like the names in the tray at least. I know it's on the back side, but then that's still flipping makeup powder everywhere. All right, my initial impressions, this stuff is super subtle. I'm doing double dips on everything and not seeing very much of anything so far. It's just like, hey, come on. See, we got some shimmer on my finger. Okay, that one's pretty decent. Motivate, I think is that color name if I found it correctly on the back. Again, that's why it would be helpful to have it next to the actual color, but whatever. I didn't design it, I just bought it. Yeah, I'm, I'm not loving it. Like I know I don't have a lot of experience. Maybe this is how this brand just is. But so far, I mean, if I dip in a color, I want it to put that color on my skin. I don't want it to look like I'm just covered in bruises by the end. Mm, moving on to some of these darker colors here. Oh, the glitter ones are kind of okay. Boop, boop. Yeah, so far I like this for the glitters a lot more than any of the other colors. Um, Looks like we've got a little bit of a black here. 
Yeah, look, it's barely coming up really. I mean, last finger, I'm gonna use this nice glittery blue. That's probably my favorite color in here. All right, so this got weird little <laughs> wibbly wobbly. The highlighter was great. The lipsticks were kind of meh. I think they're way overpriced. I think ColourPop is way better lipsticks for the price and they're way smoother and creamier. But again, the highlighter was awesome. Um, that's probably one of the better highlighters I've used. And the eyeshadows, I am just pretty disappointed. They're real subtle and faint and, you know, for a Barbie palette, these are not colors that I would think scream Barbie at all. It's more of an autumn palette. I would expect some more, you know, nicer colors of pink, maybe some yellows or some other vibrant colors, but all these very 70s sort of muted colors, I don't know, they just didn't translate as well as I would have hoped for, you know, double dipping on each one of them. And again, it's pretty much the same pattern I do for all the other makeups I test. The Mean Girls palette I've tested, Jeffree Star stuff, tons of ColourPop, and it all comes off pretty well most colors on my hand, but I mean, I don't know. I, I don't love these pigments. I don't love the design of the lipstick. Glad I got the highlighter, but that again is, is the best thing I can say about this set. So would I recommend the Pure Barbie collection? Probably not. I think it's a good bit overpriced for the quality that you're getting, and there are other brands out there that are much nicer. And I haven't been paid by anybody to say this. I wasn't given these products for free. I mean, I bought these because I thought, oh cool, Barbie makeup. I recognize Pure as being an adult brand, so I figured this was gonna be decent quality makeup, but yeah, I'm, I'm not satisfied at all. I'm sure I'll find a way to use most of this stuff to the best of my ability, but yeah, I would not have spent the money I spent, which was like over a hundred dollars on just these five pieces. Had I been aware of the quality of Pure, I would have just got the highlighter compact and called it a day. And even then, maybe not with all the scratches on the mirror and like, that's the protective Thing for the like there's nothing there's no protective liner or anything on the compact and it's just scratched up everywhere and I think this by itself was $26 so I, it's not okay to look this used and trashy and torn up right out of the box and same thing with the 30 something dollar eyeshadow palette it's all scratched up on the mirror it, it is all scratched up on the metal nameplate on the front there's no Barbie anything on it other than the little Barbie signature and then the lipsticks just are okay. I kind of like the click design, but that, that's the best thing I can say about these. I don't like how they're all the same pattern on the outside. I think it's kind of lazy. I don't think the formula is very nice. So I won't be buying stuff from Pure again, but thank you guys for listening to me rant and ramble a bit about this. Again, I'll show you one last quick swoop of what the stuff looked like on me. And we will see you next time, family members. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye!